mother used to say here in Italy, you say, you hear this sound, this is the sound of love. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's cute. Like this one. in my hostel at the terrace. Um, it's a very nice hostel and um, I had a very nice flight. It was well, well worth the money the first flight. Um, I did not have a Wi-Fi as I said. I, I had to pay for it. I mean there was a free one but um, it just did not work. <laughs> but the seats, mm, I think the most important about flying 12 hours is the seats because as long as they recline and you can sleep that's that's all it is about. I was just, um, I don't know if I was asleep in like a deep sleep, but I was relaxing the whole time. It was a, pretty much the most comfortable flight I have ever taken in my life and well, well worth the money. I would do it over and over again. Um, I had a couple meals. They were, they were pretty good. They were actually very good. A couple drinks. You could have more if you like, but I was just kind of relaxing, took it easy, um, laying down and yeah, I was kind of actually emotional when I was flying. I don't know. I was just emotional, but... I thought somebody's coming. But I'm here and I'm super excited. It's actually really, really hot. Um, I'm not very that tired, which is surprisingly... Um, the jet lag didn't kick in yet, so I'm just going to hang out here. Relax a little bit more, <laughs> go get myself a water, and then yeah, and I'll check back in soon. And I just wanted to pop in in here and uh, let you know, maybe this is like a tip of the day, <laughs> if you will, that um, if you ever fly to Rome Fucimino, Fucimino, the airport, um, you can buy a train ticket that's called the Onarda Express for 14 euros. And that's way cheaper than taking a cab or Uber, which is actually about 48 euros. And you can get to the center, Roma Termini, um, that's actually what I took. That's what I was recommended um, and Yeah, it worked out really well also Another tip of the day that I learned today So if you come maybe you guys know this maybe I'm just clueless Maybe you guys already know this but if you're exchanging your money like I'm exchanging dollar to euros um, Always go to ATM and not to the exchanging lady, especially at the airport unless um it's maybe somewhere not really in the center because a lot of the times they're trying to rip you off so listen to this so a hundred dollars the lady was gonna give me 66 euros for that and I was like oh that's really little so almost half um, in the ATM at the airport I got how many euros I think I got 90 euros 90 euros it was 118 dollars so way better deal go to ATM do not go to the changing lady. <laughs> mm. It smells good. Yes. This is our chef. Hi. <laughs> and this is my friends. The crew. The crew. <laughs> We're having dinner together. <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm going to wait a little bit because this is... How we make fresh pasta? Okay. Yes. Uh, Tell so us. They, first of all, let's say this is our table. Okay, this is our table. So what they do is, my grandmother used to do it exactly like that. She takes the thing of the flour, does like it, everything here, okay? She opens the leg inside. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, she puts the flour here, and here is uh, like the hole, mm -hmm. okay? Like a volcano, mm -hmm. okay? For a hundred mm -hmm. grams of pasta, approximately, you use uh, one egg yolk. But this is the problem with fresh pasta. You have to know the consistency. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be really, you know, like uh, doodle. How can I put this? Yeah. Hard. Hard, mm -hmm. but not even like mm -hmm. mushy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it has to be good for So you put this thing inside all of the egg yolks and you start doing like this. Like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. You put, and while you are doing like this, you try to take a little bit of the flour. Okay? So you take you take the flour and then it's done. Mm -hmm. And then you just like work it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, you do like little little bands, let's say, small mm -hmm. bands. And then you take this man uh, this band and you have to wait. The contemporary way is you take this machine mm -hmm. that you put on the table and you roll it and it starts to get like thinner and thinner and thinner. But my grandmother doesn't do this because she thinks that the machine uh, changes the flavor. This is not actually accurate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she takes like this long thing. I don't know how it's called. It's like like this. sausage. No? Yeah, like um, um, with grinder. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, you mean like rolling? Yeah. 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 Roll yeah. And rolls it, rolls it, rolls it. It depends what kind of pasta means because mm -hmm. different pastas is different consistency. Like one are thinner, mm -hmm. and then you cut it. My earrings. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> okay, so this turned out to be a lot. Pasta, see. Si. That's a lot. But we pasta. don't eat all of it, guys. Because we never eat pasta from for the day before. Oh. But we can have it for breakfast, no? No. <laughs> oh no, no. That's no. That's that's illegal. Yeah. <laughs>